So we just beat the Rotten. I think I came back here to level, but we're going to go back to Shulva because I want to get Flynn's Ring. And then we kind of just have to hunt down more Dragonbone. I don't even know how many I have right now. Do I have any? I have one. There's actually some in Shulva. I just don't know where any of it is. I didn't bother to write it down because I didn't think I would need to worry about it. Because <laughs> my plan was to get everything in the vanilla part of the game. I should do DLC too, though, honestly. But that means we're going to be rocking a plus one for quite a while. Because we have to go all the way to Old Iron King. It just really doesn't make any sense to power stance until we get... I, I'd say at least plus three on the second Moonlight Greatsword. I think that would be fine. But that's going to probably be a while. But maybe we should do Iron Keep next. I probably will. Let's get this ring first, though. Oof, that damage. Holy crap, man. Why did they hit so hard? Can't win. Let me buy. I think... I don't know, can I get out of here? <laughs> Half the time I do this, I get trapped, I I think, here. Let's see. Oh, no, we're good. This part's pretty rough, though. And I'm dead. Part is not fun. It's alright. We'll just have to do this part again. Alright, let's go back to... I guess here. Do, uh... Make our way to Old Iron King. We'll get some Dragon Bone. I'll probably get the Dragon Bone in the DLC. That way we can get the plus five much faster. Gotta break something here. Oh, I didn't do. Oh, damn it, I didn't do Lisha. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll do Flexile right now, I think. So we can move her. 
I don't think we've done too many optional bosses. We did old Dragon Slayer, and it's probably it. Man, it is toasty today. Like, where I am, we, we pretty much just had... It was like normal springtime weather. Actually, it was, if anything, it was like probably on the colder side. We were like at 40s and 50s, and then the last few days has just been like... 60s. Yesterday was like 80, almost 90 degrees. Today is, I think it's like 80 right now. Absolute insanity. I think it's supposed to cool down this weekend though, which is good. Because I'm sweating. <laughs> or like I'm on the cusp of sweating. Just sitting here. I was actually looking at the uh, the difference between this sword and the uh, Blue Moon Great Sword. The Blue Moon Great Sword's like shorter and wider, I think. Just like not the care, just the physical appearance, I guess should, I should say. But yeah, it's a little 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 shorter, a little wider. Apparently, Mullen and. Um, Magarold, they have uh, their own dialogue for the Blue Moon Greatsword, basically calling it fake. So that's how you know if somehow you talk to them that uh, that the Blue Moon Greatsword's fake. Which I had no idea. Dude, this guy's a horrible shot. So, have we... I don't think we've done The Last Giant yet, have we? <laughs> no Pursuer, no Last Giant yet. It's so weird. Normally, they're like the first two I do. Or two of the first, anyway. We did Frey already. Still gotta go back and do... Uh, Royal Red Vanguard. And we did The Rotten, too. Oh, I gotta put Flynn's Ring on, duh. Hello. What's our intent? Is it 40? It's almost at 40. We need to get that to... I think it's... I can't remember if it's 40 or 50, but... I gotta do Vitality too. Oh, that's good. That's real nice, actually. We could do Cinder from this side too. I kind of forgot about that. I'm gonna not though, because if I if I don't do Cinder, if I go do Cinder now from here, I'm gonna totally forget about uh, Last Giant and the Pursuer.
All right, so Lisha should be moved. Go back here. And then we'll go do Old Iron King. Oh, we got to do everything before it, too. Oh, I can still level up. Wow. Like, for some reason, I figured I would need more than 37k, but whatever. We're going to keep rolling. Yep, stop talking, please. So we gotta come back and do Royal Rat Vanguard, Royal Rat Authority. I'll probably save Chariot and I'll save Gargs for, uh... Actually, I don't know. I guess I don't need to save Gargs. If we get the, the eight Dragon Bone, I mean... What do we need, 10 for plus four? So we can have a plus four. I guess we just, yeah, once we're power stancing, I'll go back and do all the optional stuff. Skelly Lord shouldn't be too bad. They really are. I'd say, like, the only time they're really bad is if you have bad damage and you like... Like, if you have a dagger and you're, like, in a new game or something. I did that run once. <laughs> that was not so fun. I don't think there's anything magic resistant coming up, really. Not this path, anyway. Maybe Mitha? I don't know. I can't imagine she's going to be too bad. That is not much damage. Maybe these guys are magic resistant. Well, that's nice. 
This is magic damage, though, so it makes sense, I guess. It's not, like, slash damage. Ow. Dude, what the hell? Never really understood how that worked, right? Because I'm using a sword. You would think it would be slash damage, but it's all magic. I don't know if there's, like, a separate type of damage. Magic slash damage or something. Or if it's just pure magic. Probably see. It says slash thrust. Just doesn't have physical scaling, I guess. One thing I'm having a hard time with is angling the the vertical slash. I just cannot seem to... Like, I just keep missing things like that. Skeleton Lords? Yeah. Most intimidating boss by far. I don't think there are any other Halloween-themed bosses, are there, in this game? I don't know, do demons count as being Halloween-themed? Covetous Demon looks like he ate a lot of candy. If that counts. Skelly Lords have a 50% resistance to magic. Do these guys have a 50 resist, or is it just like the main dudes? Pumpkin headed appear? No, no pumpkin heads here. Uh oh. Main dudes? Yeah, that makes sense. These guys are just skeletons. Chariot? Oh, yeah. I would have figured Chariot would have been, uh... Oh, you're talking about for the Halloween. I guess Chariot could be Halloween, yeah. Sure. This whole area, really, I guess. Oh, no. I forgot about this. We'll say Chariot's Halloween. Just like, I don't know, the music, man, it makes me think of, like, Halloween <laughs> in that fight. The, uh, Skelly Lord's fight. I just, 100% Halloween vibes. At risk of what? Being detained? No, breaking. Two of them? Yeah. One of them just said, like, pretty much upgraded. It's, like, barely upgraded. I'm not using it yet. But in this game, you can, uh... There's, like, a special stance you can do. And you get a whole different moveset for two, uh, two-handing. That's disgusting, quite honestly. Should have just stuck with the R2s.
Busty fire lady? Yeah, I know. She murdered me. Alright. God, it's so much damage, man. I'm dead. Yeah, they brought it back in three, too. I think it's only in the DLC, though, isn't it? I mean, I, I to be fair, if you're a pyromancer and you're constantly dealing with fire, you probably don't want to be wearing too much, so it makes sense. Tactically appropriate outfit. Cannot see. Always oh, gonna eat him. He's gonna eat him. He's feasting. He didn't eat him. I thought he ate him. I thought he's supposed to eat him. Yeah, this is the guy who ate the Halloween candy. Maybe he just did too much damage to him. Or just, I don't know. I'm not sure. I very rarely see that uh, from him, so I don't really know what he does. He has very non-threatening. Yeah, it's it's really not that threatening. Well, he can two-shot you in New Game Plus if you're not careful. All right. Uh, more ints, I guess. Actually, no, let's do Vitality. I want to get this to, I think it's 14 you can go with Lens Ring. No higher, though. Piss set? Yeah. I, unless I'm, like, doing a, some sort of cosplay run, I kind of just keep this armor on. I might take it off, though, if, like, I get too heavy, which honestly wouldn't be a horrible idea, because this weapon is pretty heavy. Oh, he's dead. Trying to get a backstab there. Please.
Jesus, man. That guy's crazy. Almost to my favorite part of the run. Well, one of my favorite parts, and by that I mean very much not my favorite part. Iron Keep. Iron Keep at NG Plus is just pain. Keeping Scholar, yeah, but more so in New Game Plus. <laughs> it's bad in New Game, don't get me wrong. It gets worse. Do they make you pay the iron price? Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, that feels pretty magic resistant. I feel like I should be dealing more here. Yeah, that's what happens when you end your show with just, like, a disaster, you know? It's unfortunate, but I know it's it's so hard to, like, go back. I have yet to, and I probably won't go back and watch, like, the first few seasons just because I know how it ends. And it wasn't really, like, the ending so much as the execution of the ending. Because I'm sure if the, you know, the books probably aren't going to get finished completely, but if they did, I'm sure they'd be more fleshed out than what we got. Plus, I'm sure D&D &D took liberties with a lot of the choices. Like, they had a couple key plot points. But, you know, they had to fill in the gaps and just didn't do it very well. And then they lost the Star Wars job. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, I can, I guess. Because of how bad the reception was. Yeah, dude, you had people naming their kids Daenerys, like, before the final season happened when she wasn't insane, and then, like... I wonder how those parents feel now. I want to rewatch The Wire. I haven't seen that in a few years. That was a good show. Oh, dude, the baby jump. I think I hit the wall.
Never seen it. Yeah, it was a good show. It was really good acting. Just had like a really authentic, like the characters were just authentic. I mean, that's how I heard about it. Just a lot of people ranting and raving about it. But it's not just about, like, the police either. You see, like, everything. You see, like, just the police side plus the, the criminal side, too. And it's all about, like, how the different factions kind of behave together. Oh, that sucks, man. You see the hardships of living in the ghetto. The corruption of the police force, like all, all that stuff. And government, not just the police. So this dragon bone. I was really hoping that was going to be a backstab, but it kept moving. Do I want an effigy here? Like, I don't know, man. This part sucks, though. Oh, that's really... No, it's not great. All right, hang on. Uh-oh. Actually, this is good because having one of them down here is nice. Instead of having both of them up there. I probably also could, uh... I probably actually... You know, I can't walk onto this guy, can I? Too far. I was going to say, maybe I can get him with the uh, Moonlight Greatsword, but... I think it'd be hard to pre-aim that. I know the arrow's coming. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the one game where you kind of have to fight enemies because they just get in the way of the... You can't actually just go through fog gates like you could in the other games. Which is why I fight them. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna die to an arrow. I'm gonna die to something, man. I have to dodge the arrow. This part sucks, man. I really hate this part. Was not the arrow. Uh, what is that, dude? What? <laughs> Twice, two, two failed backstabs. Oh, oh, yeah, I need this key, don't I? I'll grab this. I, I, You can get this without uh, getting hit by the fire. I just, I don't know how to do it. I think it's like, I don't know. It's not really a big deal. Actually, maybe we should go, let's go to, we'll get the DLC key right now. You don't even need to do this, really, but. I don't feel like going through, like, five lizards. Oh, I can't. I have to, I still haven't even done Last Giant. We'll do that. We don't really need to do the last and we just need to get the key. But like we're going to be down there anyway, so we might as well do the last giant. Oh, no, I went to hang on. I have this bonfire.
see you. Yeah, fall damage is pretty rough, especially after playing, like, Elden Ring. Rolled into the wall. Man, I'm dead. I'm so bad at this part. Elden Ring, with Elden Ring, it's like, you can survive very high drops, but if you're like, I don't know, you don't lose a lot of health for, for certain falls, but then, like, you'll make a, a similar drop, but it's like five feet more, and then you die. But they didn't really want to punish exploration, and they definitely made the game more vertical. Like, just with jumping alone. Torrent has an air dash. Yeah, he's got a double jump. But that doesn't save you. Like, you can't double jump... If you, if you have a big fall, like, you can't just double jump near the ground and then be saved. Like, you'll, you'll still die. That's one thing I learned early on in Elden Ring. That'd be cool, but, yeah, it's not a thing you can do. I think most people do, right? Like, I did, too. Holy damage. No, no, I don't want this. Uh, I can't quit out. Forgot about the key. It's all right. Might be like the most scuffed order I've done in this game yet. At least most like non-traditional for me. Still gotta do the pursuer. God, I can't wait to try and get the eight petrified dragon bone. 
Yeah, salamanders are rough. <laughs> I wish this red phantom didn't respawn. Oh, dude, the failed backstab. That's like, what is going on with that today? I don't like this. I have 16 life gems. Smelter Demon's gonna be a nightmare. I think I have some Radiance, though, so hopefully we can get through this with no issues, really. Hey, Ani, what's going on? How you doing? All right. I can't even bright bug either because of the invader. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, uh, run's going all right though. Where did he go? I think he just yeeted himself off. Hey, come on. I love how you backstab the captains, but you can't backstab the regular Elan Knights. Like, one shot them, I mean, not, uh, not backstab them. Obviously, you can backstab them. That's not what I meant to do. Dude, can I get a backstab? All right. I don't know how I feel about this going in with, like, no healing. Don't hit me with an arrow. Thank you. Not no healing. I have healing. The problem is I don't have as much as I would like. This damage is pretty good, though. Better than what I'm used to, anyway. We do have uh, the Moonlight Great Sword ability, too, so that's good. Actually, have a ranged attack for once. No! Oh. Damn it. I, I was. I didn't think he was gonna do it. I thought he was gonna lift the sword, and then he didn't, and then I was just like right next to him. I think I was still damage resistance there. I can't wait for blue smelter, baby. That's going to be miserable. Blue Dragon. But yeah, Blue Smelter probably would be like one of the hardest bosses in the run, I imagine. It's already pretty rough. Everything until see a stupid magic resist, yeah. I think a lot is weak to it, but that's like the only boss that is. Weaker, anyway. All right. Uh, there's one more dragon bone I gotta get to here. Assuming it's still here, might not be. I think some of them, uh, like, just get replaced. Actually, let's go forty ends. Still need more endurance. I, they always make DLC bosses like super magic resistant or su like elemental resistant in general. 
Although, uh, like, I don't know. Lightning is still pretty good. I think dark is okay. Fire, fire is pretty rough, except for DLC three. In DLC two, like everything is fire resistant. We played DS two for the first time. We did the DLC with only magic damage. Ugh, yeah. I did a. I remember I did a mage. I think when I was going for all achievements. And I'm trying to remember what I did. Like I remember the DLC was definitely a big wall for me. I forget where the hell to go, man. Ow. That guy doesn't even see me. I I have no idea if this is still Dragon Bone or not. We're gonna find out though. Sick. Alright, I think I'm dead. It's fine. Nothing of value really lost. Yeah, there's a lot of staves we gotta do. A lot of seals. I don't know what they're called. Chimes in this game. We haven't had one yet, which is pretty crazy. So much lava. Yeah, there's no shortage of lava. He, he did not die. Well, wow. stunned. Oh, this is not a lot of damage. Hex runs. Yeah, I don't really know how. I'm, so you can infuse staves. That's um unique to this game, and I don't really know how I'm going to go about doing those runs. Because it would make sense, like, if you do, like, a dark infused staff, like, to use hexes, but the scaling can be, like, okay for magic still. Plus, what are you going to do against things that are resistant to dark? It's going to be really annoying, though, getting, like, good staves that would be, like, good with magic infusions, and then getting dark instead when we roll it. Same with seals and uh, dark and uh, lightning. But I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen a stave run yet in this game. Or, or chime. I think DS3 actually is the only game where we've seen both, like, Miracles and Sorcery. Yeah, you can infuse almost anything in this game. It's pretty nuts. You can infuse this. We just happen to roll a basic infusion instead of getting a random one. Oh, that was close. Fall off. This guy, I've seen him fall off before, like, just... Walks over the edge and dies, but only happened like one time. Okay, sure. Yeah, I've actually had quite a bit of standards, though, I think, in this game so far. But we're gonna have like a lot of everything. Probably more like everything in this game than the other games, because you can't infuse like special weapons in the other games. Yeah, it takes so long to get up. There's a couple infusions I think we haven't seen. I think we haven't seen poison. Um We've seen fire, we've seen magic. Have we seen magic, actually? I can't remember. 
We've seen dark, seen mundane, lead. Actually, this is a great boss for the R2. It's a shame I can't do it more. You've got to be kidding. How did he... It's like the first time that's ever happened. Don't backstab me. Cat ring, please. Thank you. Should have rested. Actually, I can homeward. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, it's less fine. Oh, come on, man. I can't, how am I supposed to get out of that one? <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Why is there so much fire? Dude, I keep rolling so early. What am I doing? Doing it again. <laughs> Literally the exact same thing. Oh, man. Dude, I'm dying, man. It's so hot in here. Why is it so hot in my room? Oh. Do I, uh, what do I have for rings? I gotta look. We can do this. And if I have repair powder, I, I should really should get some, honestly. Because then I can just spam R2s all day on some of these bosses. Get out of here. Hundred fifty five thousand.
All right, what do we have for, how many dragon bow do I have? Let's see, I got three, so we get plus two. I think I still need a couple. I think I need like three to get plus five. Plus the, you know, that's including the eight in the DLC. I still can't get over the fact that Scholar hides the keys in, like, the most random places in this game. In, in, you know what I mean. The DLC keys are just so unbelievably hidden compared to vanilla DS2. Like, DS2, they just give them to you. <laughs> Or vanilla, rather. That's what I think about every time I open one of these uh, DLC doors. Now, this cryptic is DLC 1. I don't know. I mean, you could argue that it, it's pretty damn close. Like, I guess the difference is, like, after you kill the... I don't even know what you call them. Like, after you do the Rotten or, um... I should actually hang on. After you do the Rotten or you do, um... Old Iron King, like, there's a shrine thing back there, right? So, like, you, you click on it and you're like, okay, what the hell is this? So, you know it's something. You don't know what it is. But you could assume DLC. DS1, you don't really know there is a DLC unless someone tells you. But trying to get the... Dragon Talon or whatever key, I can't remember what it's called for, uh, getting into DLC 1 is insane. Like, you have to go to this hidden part of the map in Black Gulch, kill these two giants who drop a random item, which is a key, and then you have to know that there's a place in the pit for that key. Where am I going? I don't have skulls, do I? This is going to be a lot more annoying. Oh, that hurts. Please. How did I forget skulls? What happens when you haven't played this game in like a month? I forget what you, uh... Supposed to do. It's alright, though. Makes it more interesting. That's not the right way. The speedrun just, like, skips this whole room entirely. They skip, like, most of the descent, which is pretty cool. Actually, do they skip this room? Maybe they don't skip this room. Sorry, the door's open. The randomizer is pretty fun. The end was very frustrating, because I got a dragon in Radagon's arena, and the dragon just kept flying out of the arena. That was stupid, but... The problem, really, was that I had, like... I didn't upgrade weapons for, like, the majority of the run. Like, the highest I went until the very end was, like, plus two. So I was trying to kill Grail with, like, a plus zero. I don't remember what I was using. And then I got the Coded Sword, and I upgraded that to plus four because I didn't have a Somber five. And that was still pretty rough. Um, And then eventually I was like, okay, I need to find a, another weapon because this is not working. And I found, uh, like, not only another weapon, but also a Somber five. like, they were right next to each other. It was a somber weapon. Code of Sword, I don't think would have been bad if it was like more than plus four, but unfortunately, I just couldn't couldn't do that because I couldn't find that somber five. It was amazing to me that I didn't find one somber five in like the entire run until the very end. I just couldn't believe it. We also never even found the mountaintops or the snowfield.
I mean, I found the dungeons there, but I never found the open world parts. So there was a lot of places in the map I just did not see. But we got through it. Yeah, I not not once somehow. All right, let's go level up before we do this next part. I gotta check uh, to make sure I have fire bombs too. Okay, I got eleven. Sick. Forty, do twenty. Good enough. I think I'm gonna pretty much end up leveling literally every stat on this run, which is pretty rare. But I mean. I mean, like, Greatsword kind of calls for it with needing three stats at 18. But yeah, I'd like to do the Dungeon Crawler mod too, but I'm probably not going to do another Elden Ring Randa for a while, because I've done, I've done like three of them in the last nine months, which, I don't know. I guess for me, that's a lot. I know a lot of people do on Twitch, like, do a lot of randomizers. Um, but it kind of just eats into the progress of this. Plus, I want to do some, some more, like, other mods and stuff, too. I need, I need skulls here. But yeah, I'd like to do Reforged at some point, too. I want to do some DS2 mod. I don't even know what. I'm going to look at the overhaul mods to see what there is. I think there's, like, uh... Augur of Darkness is one. Seeker of Fire? I don't know if that's DS2 or a different game. I know there's a couple, though. Yeah, Dobby's Vash was super fun. Okay, I guess I need more than 600 souls. But, you know, with uh, DS3, you have Cinders and Convergence, which are probably, like, two of the more popular overhaul mods. Out of, like, all of them. Out of all the games. But I do want to do DS2, because I haven't done any DS2 mods. I did, I think, two for Dark Souls, one, three for Elden Ring. did one DS3. Eventually, I'd like to do some Sekiro, too. I haven't played Sekiro in a while. Yeah, I've heard Cinders is good. I've heard Convergence is also really good. I'm looking forward to him. And there's definitely... I think there's like Champion of Ash or something is another one. You know, in time, I like to play them all, but... I like to space them out with these runs in between. Get a Sekiro? Nice. Yeah, I love Sekiro. Damn. Aaron, my... Knee? Looked like a knee. What game is this? Skyrim? That'll be a fun run. Dude. Jesus Christ, man. Didn't want to stop playing it. Yeah, the, the combat in Sekiro is just so good. So polished. And it's not something they can do with this type of game because there's just so many different play styles you have to balance around. 
Sekiro, it's pretty much just like katana parrying. Like, yeah, there's other stuff in the game that you can use, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. I hope they do something. I know Armored Core is coming out, but I I'd love to see, like, something different, you know? That's not necessarily a Souls type of game. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Feels like a rhythm game? Yeah. Pretty much is. I just want to get past this part. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I didn't know I needed to jump there, honestly. I usually do jump, but I thought I could just roll off that edge, and apparently you can't. I keep getting just staggered by the guy with a sword, and then the axe guy jumps on top of me immediately, and I can't not get hit by both if I get staggered. This room's awful. We're not even at the part where I gotta break the barrel yet. <laughs> That's like my least favorite part in the DLC. With all the beam sorceresses. This part I usually don't have that much of an issue with, but I think I usually just chuck skulls and distract them. I'm not really doing that. I did to open the door, but like now I'm not. So let me go by. No arrow, please. No random arrow. Oh, the cat ring, too, I don't have on. That'd be impressive to actually be able to fight gravity. I think Radon was like the closest thing to that. Yeah, covet a silver serpent ring doing me a lot of good here. All right, hang on. Fire bombs I need. I'm going to kill her, I think. Or not. No, not him. Give me the. Okay, maybe not. She's got a lot of health. Come over here. Right here, buddy. That didn't work. Oh, it did work. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> I was gonna say. Better works. Dude, this switch is awful. It's fine. I, I don't care. We'll do it later. I'm going to upgrade this weapon. <laughs> we'll come back later. Ah, oh, God, I hate that part. That's my least favorite part of the DLC right there. I was trying to hit that switch. Where? Oh, we didn't even go to... I forgot. We didn't go to the... Uh, lost Bastille yet. We have this guy instead. Oh my god, I'm too poor.
All right. Let the power stancing begin. It's not plus five yet, but it's close enough. What do we need? We need another three. Okay. 